the man sitting close by me, John Thaxton. For now, he's got somebody who could very, very definitely turn out to be a major banana skin in his would-be progression to the top in Lee McAllister. He really fancies this one, Duke. Both boxers are really fired up. As you've said before, John, they, they both put tremendous support. It'll be down here too. Who can stamp the authority first? Murray is so keyed up, he's wound up like a spring. But he has to be, he has to be first. He can't allow McAllister to set the rhythm, dictate. McAllister, who was trained originally in the in the Brandon Ingle gym, still has that elusive hands-down sort of style which typifies that Winkerbank gym. Now trained by Dave Caldwell, John Murray, a product of Joe Gallagher in that gym, as I was saying, owned in Denton by Kerry Case, renowned fitness conditioner, and McAllister has started well here. Yep, he's just using the ring, he's snapping the punches out, knows that's his best chance of victory, but I've been so looking forward to seeing Murray in his first defence since winning the championship, with Lee Meager, but fantastic that night, you know, then he had something to fight for, and now he's got something to defend. McAllister said, a little bit cockily, Murray is just a stepping stone and he wants to fight against Alex Arthur. If amazing Alex is watching this one, he started really confidently, putting his punches together well. And Murray, as Duke was saying, looks a little bit wound up and a little bit tense just having a look at what's going on. And he does have that tendency to mark up and to cut, and you can see he's keeping his gloves very high here in the early stages. Well, McAllister just leading him a song and dance at the moment. Just getting off just that little bit quicker, not allowing Murray to set. Murray likes to have the sort of fighter who'll stand and trade with him. A man like Lee Meager, this is not what he would wish, because McAllister is a man who can jab, can move and deliver a lovely little sweet right uppercut like that. Quality shot from McAllister. Well, he'll need to keep this up all night long, because Murray will hound him all night long. Talking to Matthew Macklin, who's fighting for that British title in March against Wayne Elcock, and he said, Murray, for a smaller man, when you spar with him, he's one of those fighters who's on you all the time. He said he must sicken opponents. Well, so far, he has not got into this fight, but early stages yet, of course. It's the long haul, it's a 12-rounder. First round, though, is going to the challenger, to Lee McAllister. Murray getting in with that left hand to the body, but by and large, it's been the fleet-footed, taller man, Lee McAllister, who's bossed this opening round, and he will surely attract the, the, the travelling contingent from Aberdeen, who've seen the 26-year-old Scott, the Aberdeen assassin, boss the opening round. He certainly did. Murray is so keyed up, so wound up, wants to get in close, hasn't started to use his jab as yet. He's relying on just his raw strength to get him through. Trying to bully McAllister in close, and uh, words of... Uh, Fatherly advice from John Keane. Murray not settled into any sort of a rhythm here yet. Former Young Boxer of the Year, remember, and there's been some great names who've had that award over the years. Well, quite often your first defence of a British Championship always proves to be your most difficult. Right. One looks as though it's straight low there. McAllister only with five stoppage wins and his 27 victories. But Ryan Rhodes was saying he punches very much harder than you might imagine. Says he's got a snap about his work and he's looking very sharp indeed so far. Really boxing well. He will need to be able to maintain this. Will Murray's strength be able to get through and prevail in the end? You know, it's going to be a, a, a fight of two halves, which is what we think. Murray trying to get in close and now trying to rough him up and getting away with it. That was with the inside of the glove and the referee allowing it. And now McAllister responding in kind, as much as to say, you want the rough stuff, you can have some back. 
Well, what about that for a bit of cardiology and bravado? Murray trying to throw the right hand and McAllister just too cute for him. Saw it coming, parried it and returned it with interest. Both boxers want this so bad. So, so bad. Talked about possible world title shots down the road for John Murray. Lee McAllister, of course, is singing from a very different hymn sheet. Blinking a little bit, Murray, and he's taking a couple of big shots there. McAllister, rather, was blinking, and Murray delivers a couple of really good, solid shots. Well, Murray would have to be considered to be the stronger of the two. Good shot again from Murray. Starting to settle to his work at last. Left hand strayed low. Good right hand counter. There's a little bit of redness around the face of McAllister already. And Murray in the second round has started to find his range. But Murray's punches are getting through and they're hurting. When McAllister it tends to just flail with his punches. Murray's strength was just a little bit too much for McAllister towards the end of the round. McAllister's got to tighten his defence. Left hand's too low on the way back. Tamari throws the, the right hand over the top and is getting through. He's already being dragged into a situation, Lee McAllister, where he has to stand and trade, and that is Murray's fight. Murray will want that. He'll feel that he's the stronger man. Good right hand, good solid shot from Murray. When Murray lands, McAllister shakes. When when Murray when McAllister lands, McCourage uh, just walks straight through it. A lot of fighters here in this auditorium tonight watching this one. It's, it's uh, brought a lot of interest across the sport. Real top-class trade fight, and it's a clash of styles which is producing a dramatic fight. Strong man against the boxer. Oh, that's good quality work from Murray, lovely combination. McAllister's going to have to surely keep his gloves up. Yeah, Murray getting through just a little bit more now. McAllister shouldn't stand and trade. Should do what he's been doing in the first round, use his boxing skills. He doesn't have to be brave to win this fight, he just got to be smart. Good shot from McAllister. Well, he pays you money and takes your choice at the moment. Really looks this one as though it could go either way. Murray looks the stronger, the more hurtful puncher. McAllister has speed of foot, plenty of belief, and enormous quantities of vociferous support. You sense that there's a, a certain edge to Murray's work. You just feel as the rounds go on, you just wonder how much closer he's going to get to McAllister when these big punches start to land, what kind of damage they're going to do. McAllister trying to fight his man from range and picking off Murray with a lovely right uppercut. As Murray came in close, tried to bully his way down here, and that is not allowed. Pushing McAllister down, and the referee rightly splitting them. Murray predominantly headhunting. Yeah, I'm finding the target from time to time. This is where Murray wants it. Good right hand, and the left hook as well from Murray. Real good quality shots from Murray. Kidology from McAllister. Murray says, yeah, I can land some more, and 